Hello, Guitar Hunters. I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. I teach people how to buy and sell, find cool, old, badass guitars and gear. This week, I found a Martin Shenandoah. If you know about these things, you know that they are great. Okay, let's talk details. Solid Sitka spruce top. Great rosette. Great three-piece binding. This looks like a D28. The headstock is right. Uh, everything feels right and looks right like a regular D28 where it switches gears the back and side it could be Brazilian it looks it's got that very brown very black streaky uh, pattern to it so they're great guitars but they're not solid wood this is the strongest separation between this and a regular D28 this also has it's not a mahogany neck I believe it's natto which is a Japanese wood clearly made to be more economical and more friendly for guitar players that are on a budget. So, how does it sound? That is the million dollar question. Well, that's the thousand dollar question. I think it sounds really good. I think that it is dynamic, it's bold. I will say it's a little muddier, it's a little less, it's lacking in clarity. And I can tell that it's not the wood resonating, but it is the laminate back and sides. With that said, the vast majority of what you hear in an acoustic guitar is how the top is braced. Uh, this guitar sounds really good. Here's the thing. When I was 14, I dreamed of the day that I would own a Martin and the day that I would get to stand in front of people and people would see me playing a Martin. Martin has always been a brand that I have aspired to and lots of guitar players do. You want to be seen playing a Martin. So this guitar does that. It looks like a great Martin. It sounds like a good guitar. It does not sound like a Martin D28. I don't have a D28 handy, but I do have a Martin. It's a it's a sustainable wood. It's I had a video about this a couple months ago. It's actually my first really good Martin. Um, so it's cherry back and sides, but it's it's the closest thing I could find on a Tuesday in the Shenandoah Valley. So here is a 2008 Martin SWD GT. This is a great guitar to show you just a baseline of what a good Martin would sound like. Playing these guitars is a very different experience. One plays really well, one plays not as well. Um, and also, continuing to be very honest, 
this is a guitar that I owned for years, and I played lots. I played five or six days a week out uh, at different churches, at different ministries, uh, playing out with different bands. Um, so this is a guitar I know really well. This is a guitar I don't know, uh, but this guitar plays like a Martin. The neck has a very familiar feel and style that is very similar to lots and lots and lots of other Martins that I've played over the years. This guitar, and I'll, I'll show you in the pictures, it's thicker. It's thicker right here behind that first fret. There's a different contour to it that is just off-putting. I believe that the best guitar under $1,000 is actually a Larave. It's uh, the D3, the D03, D03. Uh, I had one a couple years ago. I still think, I think it's better than most Martin D18s. It is a great, great guitar. A friend of mine here in town, I found it in New Orleans. I sold it to a friend uh, in Virginia and he's got it down the road here. Uh, maybe I'll get that guitar back and make a video on it because it just sounds so good. Uh, so I am not poo-pooing the Martin Shenandoahs. I grew up in the Shenandoah Valley. If anyone loves the Shenandoah Valley and Martin guitars, it would be me. I think this guitar is great, but it is a great uh, laminate back and sides guitar. Um, it sounds really good, but it lacks the low end and the bass that you would expect in a Martin. And most guitar players, if you're going after a Martin, that's what you're really going after. You're going for that punchy low end and that full wall of sound that comes from a great Martin guitar. So I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. If you find a Martin Shenandoah, it would be hard to hate it. It is a great sounding guitar. If you're going after a traditional Martin, you're going to be in a different budget and we're going to start looking for that. But go find great guitars. Let me know what you find out there. I want to teach you how to be a guitar hunter. To find cool gear that inspires you and connects you to people in your community. So follow me on Instagram at Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. And uh, let's go find some badass gear. Thanks, everybody. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would make my life uh, great because I want to make meaningful content for guitar players so that they can find cool, badass gear in real life. Thanks, everybody. I'm Jeremy.